hundreds of years ago, most of us worked in agriculture, yeah. in farming. And at that time, it would have been so hard to imagine a world where no one did that. And so for us right now, at this point in history, it's hard to imagine how our jobs are going to change. The war for talent has never been bigger than now. Really? We will, of course, we will need skills in the future. There will be enough jobs for everyone. We must just make sure people are prepared for that and knowing what they would want out of life and, and to prepare with the right skills because the skill set have changed. About 100 years ago, people in New York were asked how they thought the city was going to grow. And the answer was that it couldn't grow anymore because there was nowhere else to keep all the horses. We can't really see far enough to know how far things are going to grow. It's more about preparation and adaptability for that change that we know is going to happen. So we've actually created more jobs with the digitalization of our factories than we have lost. But the roles are different. They are new, they are more interpretive roles, they are higher engineering skilled roles. I guess we use the word robot because it's kind of fun, but we're talking about something much broader than that, aren't we? Robots will be assisting us in our, in our work, so in an augmented way, really to help us do our jobs better in an easier way. So the more mundane tasks or more um, will be automated. Um, so the lower value task is something that the robots can perform. The more that robots take over, the more human humans have to be. So that the areas, of, you know, the care areas, um, understanding, you know, cultural differences, being able to have higher level communication skills, they're the things that we haven't yet been able to program robots to do. Maybe one day they will, but, but they're the jobs of the future and therefore a job, which is a collection of tasks, the tasks that we need in the future will be those very, very human tasks. I think they're going to steal the current jobs but those jobs are no longer needed because the new jobs are going to change. So easy to create the scare mongering out there with the kids and saying there's no jobs for the future. We have to be so careful because it makes them believe they don't have a future. It's actually exactly the opposite. We're going to need all of them.